Hey, what's up you guys? This is Sentai22 here. How you guys all doing? Bringing you some awesome Power Ranger news stories to tell you. And today I'm going to look, look at my backdrop. As you can see, got a few Power Rangers and Kamen Rider figures to show you. And you're going to have to get used to it because I'm going to use this for a very long time. I'm really getting tired of using kind of my, my back chair as my backdrop. So I'm using this. So I hope you guys like it. So anyway, let's talk about what you guys have all been talking about lately, of course, has been all over the internets lately, is the Lion Gate deal with Saban to do a Power Rangers movie reboot. Now, you're probably asking yourselves, hey, wait a minute, we did have a Power Ranger in the movie, movie, yes, we did, but this will be completely different, it will be based, of course, on RPM actually. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's Power Mighty Morphin. <laughs> Fooled you guys, I'm sorry. There isn't gonna be an RPM movie. Or a space movie. Or a Lost Galaxy. I mean I wish I wish there would be a space uh live action movie. Live live action, sorry, because of course it is based off a live action to a live action. We get the idea. Um it will be based of course like a Mighty Morphin with the dinosaur theme and all that. And you will have uh, characters that'll be totally different from their TV counterparts, of course. Um, there has been rumors that there may or may not be uh, a Jason character, of course, would probably be a completely different character name. But the concept will be the same, of course. Teenagers' attitude will fight an evil force, and you know. They get granted their powers from the Great Sage Sword on to become Power Rangers. Now, of course, besides the characters, the villains will probably be different too. I mean, maybe there won't be a Rita, maybe there won't be a Lord of Zen, maybe it'll just be a, a villain that Lion Gate will probably make up or Bandai will probably make up. Of course, it'll be Lion Gate, of course, because they're the ones that are going to produce the movie. I mean, personally, I would pretty much keep Rita but more sexy you could say they probably do like a sexy Rita kind of like a mixture between like astronomer you know what I mean yeah you guys know what I'm talking about uh, yeah but anyway um, it'll be completely different completely rebooted retold of course and it will be uh, I mean if the movie does well it will be it will spawn a film franchise kind of similar to what they did with the Twilight series and the Hunger Games. But here's the thing. I don't really see the Power Ranger movie being um, having this sort of uh, film franchise status just because there have been films, I mean there have been movies that have been based on TV shows that don't really get a uh, franchise status. Case in point the last airbender you guys probably remember that right before the movie came out there has been rumored that if the movie did do well they would spawn a movie franchise kinda of similar to what they did with Lord of the Rings but unfortunately that never happened I mean sure you have uh, the Transformers movies um, that did very well and spun a lot of movies um, but I don't really see Power Rangers um, spawning movie franchise just because, let's just face it guys, the reason why Power Rangers did so successful was because it was very unique, but at the same time, it was successful because it was bad. I mean, it was bad, it was so good. I mean, it was cheesy but it was a good kind of cheesy or in this case with Tony Oliver we called it fromage I don't really see a Power Ranger I mean sure we had the reboot but we had the original actors but seeing a reboot being told uh, differently but more serious you know with a darker tone I don't really see it I, I believe it will it will pretty much flop I just I don't know I mean I hope it doesn't flop but I really do hope Whoever's in charge, I mean, there hasn't been any word uh, from Savan or Lionsgate Camp who's going to direct the Power Ranger reboot, but I hope he does have very good knowledge of the show, okay, because we have had 
of course, people that are in the production team don't really have little to no lo no no knowledge about the show whatsoever. I mean, it it, it would just it would just hurt the franchise very badly. It will not have another movie for maybe three or four decades to come. So, all I have all I'm saying is they better do the research first before they go into making this film. You know, so that's all I have to say. Now, in the Power Rangers production front, there has been rumors going about that the production for the Power Rangers TV series will be moving production elsewhere. As you guys probably know, Power Rangers has been shooting in Lachlan, New Zealand since Ninja Storm, ever since uh, Disney bought the franchise. Um, Originally, they were going to cancel the show, but Doug Salone convinced the Disney executives to move the production to New Zealand. In turn part, they did a lot of awesome series to boot, like Dino Thunder, uh, Mystic Force, um, SPD. But, you know, after Saban bought the franchise, a uh, rebought actually, they've... Uh, they still were shooting in New Zealand, but now they're deciding to move elsewhere. As you guys probably see in the audition uh, papers, is the country that they're scheduled to filming is unknown at the moment. So there has been a patent on this website uh, that says Power Rangers Production South Africa, meaning that they might move to South Africa to shoot the next Power Rangers series, Power Rangers Dino Charge. Now what do I think about this? I think it's a very bad idea just for the fact that uh, you know trying to move production elsewhere costs a lot of money. I mean of course they have to pretty much establish an ADR department of course establish a costume and makeup department establish everything pretty much you know and of course uh, they may have to hire new stun guys to put the Power Ranger suits. I mean, there might be a few Japanese guys here and there, but if you look at the Power Ranger um, New Zealand production team, especially the stunt team, they're all Japanese. Some of them are English, some of them are you know local Kiwis, but majority of them are Japanese stunt doubles, which I like just because it really adds uh, basically their knowledge of Super Sentai coming into Power Rangers, the fighting styles, mixing in with the blend of American fight styles as well. Um, you know, I don't, I don't really see that, you know, reminiscing because, let's just face it, Power New Zealand and Japan are pretty much close to each other, so it's just one cheap ticket away from New Zealand to down, to down under New Zealand, to Japan, to down under New Zealand. So, I don't really see that production moving to South Africa is a possibility. I mean, who knows, maybe they're going to do it, but I just don't really, I mean, I've Googled South Africa, South African cities, and the only place that I think they might shoot production is in Durban. Just because it does have a similar feel to Lachlan, you know, it does have kind of, kind of the same type of buildings as they do in Kind of just because it has the same kind of feel, feel to it. Just because both countries were 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 colonized were colonized by European settlers. So, um, so I'm definitely I'm definitely taking this with a grain of salt. I don't really believe that's going to happen. I mean, I hope it doesn't. I mean, but the only thing I really wish that could happen to be honest, is moving the production back to Los Angeles because, you know, it will be a lot easier for them. And from what I've heard from governments in Los Angeles is that they're giving tax subsidies to a lot of these film companies to film in their cities. So, as well as California governors and, you know, California officials, they want people, film companies, to shoot there just because... You know they want to they want to increase growth they want to increase the economy you know they want to increase jobs of course so I really hope they do come back I mean it's not the same really it's not the same them moving from another country to to the next it's just really ridiculous but anyway 
What do you guys think of these stories? Please post your comments as well. Subscribe to my channel as well as my Facebook. This is Sentai22 and uh, thanks for watching.